that's the beginning of it. So got the old curbs from uh, the original post. Straight ahead leads into where most of the original post once stood. Coming up here to the left, that's uh, that's the back gate basically where they started running up Kirky and see if my old ass can walk it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and fire that so nobody can drive their vehicle down there towards the uh, museum and stuff. But let's get this party started. I don't know, maybe I'm like a tenth of a mile in. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. Uh, I think you can actually drive up this thing. Um, there's a speed limit sign in the forestry department. It's got, got the, uh, the section of the mountain up top that's got all the antennas. But if you drive, that's cheating. But then again, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. And if you get caught, you ain't trying hard enough. And, uh, with that said, I got a little too much pride in me to drive this road. It's the hollow ground for most of us. But anyway, I uh, continue. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Shut the fuck up, Carl. <laughs> well, it wasn't too bad till you hit that first incline. I don't even know how far I'm in I'm at. Um, see? Oh, shut up. <laughs> not even half a mile, I don't think. No, it's, it's not <laughs> all uphill from the bottom to the top. So you ain't walking through a topographic map, so it's up and down. And uh, I just want to let you know it's, it's a lot easier going down. <laughs> oh, nice little straightaway. Woohoo! Little, little incline right there. That wasn't too hard. But it's pretty peaceful out here. There are other people. I haven't seen any walking yet, but I've seen some people taking off running as I got to the parking lot. Maybe 20 years ago. <laughs> Not now. But well, anyway, I just passed uh, four people heading down, and uh, I, I say four people, but it was actually only three. Uh, two guys, and uh, believe it or not, uh, a young lady with her child in tow on her shoulders and carrying a little backpack. So, of course, she's probably like 20 years younger than me, or 30 maybe, I don't know. But uh, I could do this all day long just at my pace <laughs> see some people actually do take their cars up there they had their windows down as they drove by i kind of jokingly laughed at them and said you're cheating they all kind of laughed except for the driver <laughs> i haven't seen any mile markers yet i don't even know if they have them all, all i do know is i lost my pace my, my pace count at the first incline <laughs> but uh yeah a little fun fact uh i learned at the welcome center and uh, the and the band of brothers, they run all the way to the top. They smack that uh, geodetic monument. It's uh, encased in concrete, elevated off the ground. It's like a pillar. Um, that doesn't really even exist. Um, when I get up to the top, I'll show you where the actual monument is, and and nobody really slapped it. So uh, that's you know that's Hollywood, but hey, it works. Also, the second little tidbit: um, there's no airfield runway or drop zone at Camp Tacoa. So after all their training, they actually went to jump school at Benning. Um, so everybody that came through here went to Benning for jump school and back then it was like eight weeks because they learned how to rig everything and load planes and um, all that good stuff. <clears throat> um, as well as vehicles, cargo planes, all that crap. But uh, yeah, they, so they left here, went down to Benning. At Benning, um, that, they, they all jumped into Friar DZ. So Regardless where they where they took their training, um, they 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 jumped to Benning. So that's uh, definitely hollow ground as well back then, as well as it is today for most of us. But there it is, fun facts. Oh shit! 
Look at that. Nice little house in there. All right. This isn't like the steepest incline yet. I don't know if you can actually see that through the stupid camera, but my eyes do. And you probably hear, hear it in my breath too, so yeah. First gear. Oh, I wanna I wanna put a pinch of skull in. But I ain't got no damn saliva left. But I got this. It's my only bottle. Up and down. I think I can do it. I mean they don't think I know I'm going to regardless, but you know what I mean. But whew. I don't, I don't know. I'm not even gonna try to guess how far I am, but um, I know I'm higher than I was when I started in elevation. Huh? The guys that started running when I started walking, they just passed me on the way down or on their way down. Gives me hope. <laughs> Maybe I'm halfway, three quarters away. But anyway, it's still pretty uh, higher. I'm almost there. I dropped my water bottle. Right there is kind of pretty close where I gotta go. Thought the blue sky through trees. Thought it was messing with me. But fortunately it's not. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm not dead. I still gotta go down though, which is kinda up and down, but <laughs> this is where we're at. Look at that view. Alright, continuing on past that uh, overlook with all the graffiti. No worries, uh, there's a YouTuber that did this about eight months ago, and he saw it, and he put a bunch of uh, uh, feelers out there. He raised like 10 grand in 36 hours to help come up here and clean it up. Well, technically, this is the highest point in the mountain, um, and that's what, that's what they were supposed to come running up and slap. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start another video going down to where their uh, kind of turnaround point was. Or the accepted turnaround point. It doesn't really have a marker. But I'll show you. That's uh, kind of how the movie got it wrong. But I understand why they did it. It's cool symbology. Symbolism. Whatever you want to call it. But all right, here we go. Walking down from the benchmark. And geodetic monument. <coughs> down of course those stair, stair steps aren't really period or uh, original <laughs> and yeah people always drive up and down here I guess I'm glad I didn't I'm sucking I should count I should call this place Mount Motherfucker but I don't think the 506 sinks the motherfuckers uh, with the sound as good as Curry. <laughs> but anyway, I'm an idiot. All right, and then coming down here, I would guess somewhere, you know, around this point here um, to roughly this building, which wasn't there back then, I'm guessing. Um, that this, this in here would probably be the original turnaround point. I don't think they'd run all the way up there and slap that. <clears throat> um, but anyway, I'm going to go down to the overlook. And I'm going to take me a little breather. Drink a little bit more water. Give me a nice dip. Pinch a skull. And uh, catch my breath. And then roll back down. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you see that water tower way back there. Um, that... That's the same water tower that you might have seen in one of my pictures. Um, but yeah, good deal. Anyway, see you shortly. Just got home. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna feel this for about a week. Um, but I uh, <clears throat> wanna make a quick correction uh, on the monument. Um, find out from the uh, guys at the Welcome Center. The, the the buildings up there and the radio antennas, um, those weren't there. The only thing that was there was a very short fire tower. Um, and the path where I thought was the original turnaround, um, that actually continued to go straight and then did a hairpin back up the backside of the mountain. So they actually did run all the way up to the top um, to where the benchmark was, whether they slapped it or not. I don't know because it's on the ground versus what the movie showed. So... 
um, remove all those buildings, continue straight on where uh, where the first big building was, then uh, wrap back up around the uh, backside. And it it was pretty much a a, a single man trail, so everybody's uh, single filing it up there, and then all the way back down. But uh, as far as that goes, I think that's the only real correction. Um, hopefully once I get all this piece together, if anybody else has got anything to add, you can go ahead and say it in the comments or call me an idiot or, or I need to do more research or whatever the case may be. But uh, it is what it is. But uh, I think that's the only thing that I, that I can think of that was the major correction I needed to make. But uh, yeah, the bench benchmark hasn't moved. Same one that's been there um, all this time. It's just the buildings are different now. So the path up there is slightly different than what it was. But uh, other than that, I'm home. Uh, my feet, my legs, my butt. i um, going to be feeling it for about another week. I'm going to sleep like a rock tonight. But I got me some good steaks and some beer. So I'm going to get in there, take a shower, and then uh, start some relaxing. And uh, then I'll start working on these videos. So yeah, this is a this is just a couple steps down from the actual overlook, um, but uh, yeah, I'll show you all the daggone graffiti. I mean, I, I get it, kids being fucking young, young and dumb, but uh, you know, and we've all done it. But I guess as I get older, the grumpier I get, and I see the the evils in my ways when I was younger, even though I still haven't grown up. <laughs> but uh, like I was saying, um. There's a YouTuber that does a bunch of history walks and uh, videos and things like that. Um, he came and did this and he wanted to help um, preserve the history of this place. And uh, he did a big fundraiser. And uh, Memorial Day weekend this year, <clears throat> um, they got all the money and probably uh, more than they need, hopefully. Hopefully they got enough to do it. But the, the type of cleaner they need to get this stuff off is pretty expensive, they said. So they I think they hit their goal. They're going to come back Memorial Day weekend and go to scrubbing. But they asked not. They asked everybody don't come up here and uh, do it or come join them because there's only limited space up here for people and vehicles. So they got a team together already. Um, and uh, that's what they're going to do. But the big party is going to be at the bottom of the hill at the Welcome Center. And they got a big pavilion built um, already. You might have seen it in some of my photos. Um, but, uh, yeah, so if you're in the area, come join the party at uh, at the Welcome Center and uh, show your support. But anyway, uh, I'm going to start my, well, actually, I'm going to take a breather. I've been talking. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I'll take a couple more videos on the way down. And the first stretch is going to be pretty easy because that was mostly uphill. So this is going to be mostly downhill. Then I'll get up to the rolling hills again. But anyway, yeah, that's the first like stretch way. down. But it was the last stretch up. And honestly, that was probably the worst part of it. Um, instead of being in first gear, I think I was in half a gear. Maybe quarter gear. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, so it's uh, mostly downhill, I guess, from here. Like I said, it's, it's going to be going through rolling hills at the bottom of this long straight or long decline. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm glad I made it up there. Now I just got to make it back to my truck. <laughs> right, see you uh, in a little bit. Side note, I, I'm kind of shocked how many cars and vehicles that I've seen driving up and to the top and driving back down. Um, and not just not i mean not just vehicles but these are young people driving like younger than me <clears throat> uh, i can understand if you got a you know old timer and don't call me an old timer i'm half my age mentally <laughs> um but uh yeah these young people be driving all the way up here and okay i got it you know you come and you visit and just see the history but at the same time um if you're not here to respect the history, um, like you saw the graffiti up there, why the hell do you even come up here? Most of them damn people are probably them freaking hippies, protesting military stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Scoop this cap to go. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it just blows my mind how many people actually drove up here um, that are far younger than me when um, they could have took the time and walked it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Almost anybody. I must have lost like two pounds in sweat. Feels like my shorts about to fall off. Not really. My ass is too fat for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, coming back down to uh, 
had a little power power line crossing um we're gonna add another another clip hopefully i can merge all these together so you know what i'm talking about um and uh, this cool little freaking house in here part of me wants to go in there and kind of go exploring around um i don't know look it's a shiv somebody escaped from jail <laughs> um but uh yeah i got shorts on and everything else um i'm actually curious if that's how long that's been there um and if they actually rode ran by this house back then i'm not sure though but anyway um yeah i'm not gonna All go right, in there i just got down from that long stretch that was in incline going up decline now i'm back to the uh the rolling hills and uh that was a nice break coming down that slope but uh, now i gotta go up and down up and down up and down again and at this point my calves are burning i don't know coming down once you hit the first incline it almost feels almost as bad as going up oh damn it it's all right more than halfway done hey what what what's it mean when you stop sweating and your hands start swelling up no i'm just kidding <laughs> oh man i feel it um bottom of my butt bottom of my butt crack it's getting hot uh -oh. i don't have no powder either <laughs> I, I definitely gotta it's not a newfound respect because i always respect them um but mad respect um because it's not it's, it's up, up down up and down up and down up and down up and down and the way back <clears throat> all them ups are just multiplied by your fatigue Whew. and uh yeah that last incline to the top was the worst but each one of these inclines going back to camp i just get worse feel worse just because uh I'm fat and out of shape and old, but my stubbornness keeps on putting one foot in front of the other. Oh yeah, butt cracks on fire now. Y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that didn't even dawn my mind that, uh, yeah, I'm a dumbass. But uh, yeah, I, I should have thought about that ahead of time. Wasn't quite sure if I was gonna hike it today or or not. Um, so, but uh, once I got here, there's there's no turning back. I had to do it. Take my bumps and dings and left, right, All left. Right. Well, I'm almost almost down at the bottom. Here's that main uh, gate they close, I guess. Uh, this is a national forest. I don't know if they actually close it. I pass some little pass in the back where they got little tents set up and people guess camping over the weekend or whatnot. Uh, but uh almost done almost right. done coming up here is the turn um for the original path um straight ahead um down down the slope um is to the main road where the uh, actual public access small parking lot is <clears throat> um but to do this justice just like i started um i'm gonna turn on down here and uh, follow it to uh, where the actual double gates are, which I'm guessing at the time uh, they weren't really double gates. Uh, but I'll just keep this rolling as long as I don't bust my ass all the way down to uh, the gates. But uh, yeah, it was, it was good. I know my damn my shins, my calves, my, my hammies. I bet y'all gonna be burning tomorrow. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna have to go home and eat me a couple, or not a couple, but one big juicy freaking ribeye and grab me some beers and uh, do something along those lines. But uh, yeah, all in all, uh, will I do it again? Hell yeah. <laughs> Anything worth doing once is worth doing a thousand times, as they say. Um, I don't know what that little building is over there. 
hopefully I can get back to the Welcome Center before they close. They close at 2. Um, I believe I started around 11. Um, maybe a little bit. No, actually, it was probably a little after 11. Um, I was leaving leaving the Welcome Center about 11 o'clock. Um, they give you a little wristband saying three miles up, three miles down. Curry he if you walk it. So I want to make sure I try to get back in time. Uh, so... Um, yeah, um, anyway, we're, we're, we're lost my train of thought. Anyway, old curb and gutter, again, like I said earlier, that was one of the roads back to the uh, original uh, installation. Um, a lot of these old gutters, or uh, these curbs, got the uh, curb cuts in them for uh, the roadways that went run, running into the barracks, on down to little trains to the mess hall. Um, I wish they could come and restore some of it. They, they got a little rifle range back there, had one. I'd like to go walk that area, see if I could find any old brass and stuff. But the way the old school army was, as far as police call, brass details, and things like that, it's a good chance most of it got picked up. Unlike, you know, the stuff in the 90s and 2000s where you get a half assed attempt to clean anything up. <laughs> but uh, anyway, coming into the years. Yeah, there's a little curb cut there. There's a little curb cut there. Um, but yeah, those are just the old roads that uh, head on back. Now, if I had long pants on or freaking uh, tick and chigger repellent, I might actually be willing to walk back in there. But it's all grown up and stuff. So, anyways, I'm gonna go attach this fence, and I think I got a picture of it um, coming in guy was gonna unlock it for me but he brought the wrong key right there all right now I'm gonna walk all the way back up the way I just came down um, and then hang a left and go down to my truck and then uh, head on to the welcome center and uh, get my little band <clears throat> but anyway um, yeah so I'm gonna try to piece all these together um, I might put this one at the very beginning I don't know maybe I'll make a little short video before I end all of this but anyway <clears throat> It's good times. I survived. If I can do it, you can do it. If you're in the area or you need to make a special trip, I suggest you do so. Um, good time, good good area. Uh, it's just a shame there's not much of the, there's none of the main posts left over except for that one road, but I'm glad they're putting money into it. Try to rejuvenate some of it and uh, preserve the history that they have left and uh, all that good stuff. And eventually, um, one of one of some of them pictures you see the old the new foundations they're building they're going to try to make a bunkhouse or one or two of those is a bunkhouse and give you the option to come and actually stay overnight in like a world war ii type barracks you know single stories not like you no know, smoke bomb hill or the old world war ii barracks that most everybody is familiar with on posts nowadays but Anyway, um, yep, going to cut it off here and head back to the truck, and uh, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what we do about piecing all this stuff together and make one long video. All right, man, you know I'm tired. I've dropped my phone probably about 10 times on the way down. My, uh, my little finger dexterity is just not what it was at the beginning. But anyway... Um, I just came back up um, to where that T was and uh, walking back to the public public access uh, part where it goes all the way down to the uh, little small parking lot for Colonel Sink Drive. But, yeah, it's probably about another, I guess, quarter mile this way. But, again, the way to the original one, it's about... Maybe a little shorter, but all in all, same, same. A little bit uphill both ways, a little bit downhill both ways, whether you're coming or going, respectively. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll shed this off and then pick it back up when I pass by the buildings right. to the left. We're coming up on the buildings now. You can see the two uh, white ones that are down there on the far side with the little handicap ramps. Um, uh, if you, the pictures I took, you can probably see the plaques. A lot, some some of that uh, material is actually original material that they used. Um, the white masonry brick building. 
it's the only original building on site um the guy at the welcome center which is that is the welcome center now he said the reason why they made it a brick is because they used to store food in there um but i always thought it was like based on other other videos and things i saw i always thought it was like an administrative building um, maybe an in and out processing or headquarters something like that but because i mean if you look at a map the the, the dining facilities or chow halls were um, going into the pine trees uh, parallel roads running back like most bases have um, they go past past the barracks past the barracks is the latrines and past the latrines is the chow halls and uh, each set of barracks had their own type or not each set but each each road of barracks basically had their own dining facility or the chow hall so i don't know why i don't know why they would keep food up all the way up here in the front of the base when all the chow halls were kind of closer to the back well it's not really towards the back it's kind of in the middle because past the chow halls was where the uh, uh permanent party people and their family housing and stuff like that as well as motor pools and things but anyway that big long brown building i don't know if that's on the footprint of an original space but uh that looks like it's going to be some type of rec hall or hey, party room back in the parking lot um so i'm was it uh shit what time is it i don't know uh, shit hang on uh i think it was 1 30 ish yeah 1 30 ish um but uh 1 30 ish um at 11 o'clock i know i was in the uh the welcome center chit-chatting with them and, and they they told me they closed two and uh so I was like, well, I'm, I'm kind of allotting about three hours for me to do it, maybe 30 minutes a mile, um, three uh, hour and a half up, hour and a hour, hour and a half back. If it's about 1.30 now, by the time I was done talking in here, got driven, drove over here, I'm going to estimate about 1 th or 11.15. So 11.15 to 1.30, six miles up Curry, or three miles up, three miles down. Um, not too bad for an old fat guy um and bad knees bad back and all that other crap but anyway all right so yeah i just got back out from the uh the welcome center right there and they gave me this thing because i walked it three miles up three miles down i'm not a big wristband kind of guy so i don't know if i'll actually wear it or not but um yeah i can feel my 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 legs and stuff this building here uh, I, you saw pictures of it and videos of it, but this is the pavilion, um, and uh, it's not original. It's not even on an original footprint or anything. Um, but uh, they use it for events. Um, they do rent it out. Uh, the, I guess uh, uh, some some of the 75th Rangers from Benning are coming up uh, pretty soon. Uh, the guys from 101st, uh, he he was telling me that they actually fly in and they land in some hay field or something like that and all the guys think that they're going to uh, have like a little vacation history uh tour but uh is that most of them guys don't even know that they're going to be running curry but uh when they get here they end up running curry so i bet you that makes them all freaking chubby in the pants um i know it did me <laughs> but uh yeah so uh this is kind of they're they're planning on trying to expand over into that uh, that pine tree field, which is where the the old original barracks were, and they want to buy or hopefully get donated 16 acres back there, and they want to try to put uh, like a, an obstacle course in there, which was which is going to resemble one of the obstacle courses that was actually here in the beginning, um, in an open field and a little amphitheater and things like that, and a helipad, so that way uh, helicopters can actually land here um, if anybody flies in from any other post um but uh yeah so this was it um my buck my buck crack's not burning right now but uh i'm pretty sure when i take a shower when i get home it's gonna be on fire uh but yeah so anyway um good times my feet sore i'm hungry i want some beer and uh i got about a 90 minute drive get back get, get back to my camper um and uh I don't have anything thawed, so I might stop by a grocery store and pick something up. Um, I don't know. 
I'm not gonna, I don't know what kind of beer I want, but uh, I definitely don't want any rum. I don't want any liquor. I want some beer, some good stuff, but anyway. Um, again, I'm gonna try to put, put all these little clips. I got a bunch of little clips up and down the mountain. I'm gonna try to put them all together and uh, kind of put it on YouTube and uh if i can get it all in there fitted right and uh insert a bunch of the photos and stuff that i took i'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there as well but uh hopefully this might be the first video in there so kind of explains this that and the other um other than that good times <laughs> <laughs>